What's up, sports bettors? It's Matt here with OddgeJam, and now I'm just going to plow through a bunch of NFL bets that I have either already locked in or that I am going to lock in for NFL Week 3. So assuming the odds hold up, I should have a total of five, five bets for you guys today for NFL Week 3. So would appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button to get access to all of these Odds Jam picks moving forward on the YouTube channel. I give out four best bets every week. I've gone six and two so far um, on the Odds Jam podcast, Sweat the Bet. I give out three picks for each week. My co-host Parlay Doc gives out three picks for each week. We are eight and four overall. Very profitable there. So make sure you subscribe to all that stuff to get access to all of our best bets. So let me talk about this first one here. Saquon Barkley, and let me zoom in a little bit, over 75 and a half rushing yards. So I actually locked this one in on a live stream I did for Odd Jam earlier today. Saquon Bar Barkley, over 75 and a half rushing yards. Um, I locked it in for a full unit. I put a full unit on this one. As you can see right here, bet has been locked in. Saquon Barkley over 75 and a half rushing yards. I think it's an awesome play. Number one, of course, it's positive expected value. I found it using Odds Jam, using the positive EV page, where this page provides betting opportunities in which you are getting bets that have a mathematical profit margin associated with them. In this case, about 4.12%. Now, this is an awesome bet. The no big line prices this at about plus 102. Um, we got it at plus 110 on Caesar. So I locked it in earlier today. It's still available at plus 110. So I think you guys should lock it in as well. Looking into all the markets, just look where every book prices it at. BetMGM, minus 115 each way. DraftKings, minus 115 each way. Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest sportsbook in the world, minus 114. We're getting it at plus 110 on Caesars. That's awesome value. If you open this up in a new event page, you can see where all the other books are pricing it at. And as you can see, every book that is giving you odds, or every book that is not pricing it at 75 and a half, is pricing it above this number, 76 and a half, 79 and a half. This is an awesome player prop. I think it's worth putting a full unit on this one. I think it's really good. Saquon Barkley looks recovered from his knee injury suffered two years ago. Last year, he was recovering from that. He also had a high ankle sprain this year. He had over 160 yards in week one. Week two, he wasn't as efficient, but he still got 21 carries. Moving forward, in a game that's probably going to be a gross ground and pound game, they're probably going to give Saquon Barkley 20 plus carries. He'll probably get over 75 and a half yards. So that's bet number one that I've already locked in that I think is awesome. Bet number two that I've already locked in that I think is awesome is this Miles Sanders one over 63 and a half rushing yards. Again, it's positive expected value. Similar no big line at plus 100. In this case, plus 101, if you want to round up. I locked it in at plus 106 on Caesars. As you can see here, bet has already been locked in plus 106. The odds are still there. Recommend taking this one. Logic is the same, right? Look at all the other books. Every single book is telling you this is basically a 50-50 bet. BetMGM, FanDuel, DraftKings, Tipico, BetOnline, Pinnacle Sportsbook, all saying this bet's roughly 50-50. Caesars is the only one that says, actually, it should be below 50%. The most likely scenario here is that Caesars has this one mispriced, has this bet mispriced at plus 106. So I put a half a unit on this one for 50 bucks. I think that's really good. Locked it in. Recommend, recommend you guys tail both of those running back props. I have one more running back prop, running back prop here. Uh, Dalvin Cook over 17 and a half rushing yards. I'll get back to that one because I have a bet that I actually want to lock in on FanDuel. I want to lock in. Uh, where is it? It's the Cowboys game against the uh, the. Here we go. Cowboys against the Giants. Cowboys first half spread plus a half minus 110 on Fando. So this is going to be a half unit play for me, not breaking the bank by any means, just a half unit play. I think this one's really good. Same logic as the other ones. It's positive expected value. No big line at minus 113. We got it at minus 110 on Fando. Look at where every other book is pricing this. Fando is basically giving you even odds, minus 110 each way. Literally every other book, literally every other book that is pricing this play is giving you in the minus 120s, minus 125, minus 125, minus 125, minus 125. Typico minus 130, the sharpest book in the world, minus 121, Bet Online, another sharp book, minus 128, just ridiculous value getting this at minus 110 on FanDuel. So this one I just locked in at 50 bucks. I think this one is awesome. 
So that Dalvin Cook rushing prop, I actually tweeted this one out. Um, I think it's worth taking. I put 0.75 units on it. Let me find it right here. Dalvin Cook rushing attempts over 17 and a half. So I'll quickly go over the math, like minus 115, minus 125, minus 137, minus 130. Every other book is telling you that the more likely scenario is that it goes over this number, minus 125, minus 105, minus 130, plus 100. Again, if you want to view this one in an event page, the other books that are pricing it have it at 18 and a half, have it one number higher than this. And with rushing attempts, it's I mean, with numbers this low, that that one more carry is really valuable. Um, for the Steelers game last night, I locked in, um, what did I lock in? I locked in Najee Harris over 14 and a half um, carries. He ended with exactly 15. So just to show you, it's really important to get over those numbers. So I locked that one in here. I put basically 0.75% of a unit on it. So 75 bucks for me. For those of you at home, whatever 0.75% of a unit is for you, lock this one in. So that is the fourth bet that I'm giving you. And the last one I actually found from line shopping. I didn't find it from positive EV. So if you go to sports, you go to NFL, uh, pulls up odds for every game. And I ended up locking something in for the Colts versus Chiefs. So uh, main markets, I actually locked in the team total. And actually, I haven't locked it in yet, so I'm going to. But so we're looking at the Chiefs team total. You need to make sure you view the alternate lines to show you everything. And I locked it in for a full unit minus 110 on win bet. So let me go ahead and lock this one in for 100 bucks. I haven't locked it in yet, as I mentioned. Now I just did. Now I put the full unit on it. Colts team total, or excuse me, uh, Chiefs team total against the Colts over 100. And here's my logic. So the books that are pricing it, uh, below this number, 27 and a half or 28, are heavily juicing the over. Minus 125, minus 125, minus 120, minus 127 on Pinnacle. So we're getting it a half point to a full point higher, but we're getting it at even money, minus 110. Some books price it above this number, like 29 and a half, um, and then some alt totals at 30 and a half. But I really liked getting this one at 28 and a half, Chiefs to score over 30 points, essentially, 29 plus. Um, so the reason why, A, I like the value when you compare the other books and what they price it. Number two, uh, the defensive coordinator for the Colts used to be the defensive coordinator for the Raiders. And Mahomes has absolutely smashed the Raiders. He has just killed them in his career. The way the Colts play defense is not successful against Patrick Mahomes. And yet in his press conference, the Colts defensive coordinator says they've had a ton of success against him with this style of defense, so they won't change it. That is not a good recipe. That is a bad recipe. It's a recipe for disaster. So Mahomes going over this number, Mahomes and the Chiefs offense, which has just been on fire. I really like over 28 and a half minus 110 on win bet. So those are my five bets that I locked in. Just to do a quick recap, Colts uh, against the Chiefs, Chiefs team total over 28 and a half. Two player props on Caesars, Miles Sanders over 63 and a half rushing yards. Saquon Barkley over 75 and a half rushing yards. And then on FanDuel, I locked in Dalvin Cook over 17 and a half rushing attempts. And I locked in Cowboys first half spread plus a half. And that's it. Those are my five. Recommend tailing them. I think they're all great bets. And enjoy the week three of the NFL season. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Sweat the Bet podcast to get access to all of these picks moving forward. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.